continuing our discussion with probability, uh, we're going to work on what are called multiplication rules. Okay, so sometimes we want to see like what's the probability of like two events occurring and so we want to like multiply them by one another. Uh, so here is our kind of like general rules for multiplication and it has to deal with the probability of A and B a and B and there are here's the generic rule so it's going to be the probability of a multiplied by the probability of B given that a has occurred okay so that's the most generic form of multiplication rules this will work whether or not uh, we actually have um, independent or dependent events and the reason is is because we can uh, we can kind of back this thing out and we can see that if the events are in fact independent uh, this guy remember if independent if and only if the following is true probability of we'll use it in this in this format so that we can see it B given a is equal to the probability of B so if it is if we have a dependent event this this will work and this will give us out our um, oh our intersection and let me show you why so it would be the probability of a if this is in fact dependent we would need to multiply by the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of A. And by simplification, this kind of drops out. And then we just have the probability of A intersect, oops, let's make that a little bit bigger, intersect B is equal to the probability of A intersect B. And you're like, holy cow, I had to do all of this work in order to just find what the intersection was. And the answer is, yeah, with dependent events, it's not exactly, sometimes it's easier just to find what the intersection in fact is. But you can always do the probability of A multiplied by uh, the probability of B given A. And that, that'll give you um, the intersection. It works, uh, but uh, it's really handy with our independent events because what we can do is we can replace this B given A. If it's independent, that instead so will drop to just being, let's write it over here in blue, probability of A intersect B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Uh, but this is the generic one. This works for both uh, dependent and independent uh, events. And the reason is because of how this guy works. It works for both that, that conditional. If it's independent, drops to being just this B, and then we get this kind of shortened version. Um, and we've got dependent. Uh, it holds uh, just, like, just like this. Anyhow, so that's kind of like how we do our general rules for multiplication. This right here is the general equation. And it works for both independent or dependent variables. If it happens to be independent, this is what it shortens down to, probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. But that only works if this conditional probability equals, uh, so if B given A equals the probability of B. That, that's the only way that this multiplication rule simplifies on down. And we'll do more examples and applications of that in later videos.